Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel where we talk about skincare, grooming, and sometimes hair, so that sounds like your thing. Make sure you are subscribed. Also, come and follow me on Instagram where I post a lot of stuff you're not gonna see here on YouTube. Whenever I get a ton of the same comment, I usually like to create a video around this subject. And one comment I always, always get, I swear I start my videos off like this all the time, but one comment I always get is like, but that product contains alcohol and they put alcohol in capital letters and I'm like I know I know it does <laughs> alcohol in skincare is one thing that doesn't bother me and is one thing that I don't really tend to avoid I'll talk about why a little bit later when it comes to alcohols in skincare we know that we have our good and bad alcohol so one is usually more of like a solventy drying type alcohol and the other one is more like a fatty alcohol that doesn't dry out our skin and that is the alcohol that worries people the most is the drying alcohol so that's denatured alcohol or alcohol Denant. So when you see the term alcohol free on products packaging and actually in this video as well, this is what we're talking about. We're not saying the product is completely alcohol free. We're saying it is it's free from those bad alcohols and ethyl alcohol as well. So that's what the FDA actually classes alcohol free as well. They class alcohol free products as products that are free from the alcohol that consumers believe will dry out their skin. That's their exact words, free from what consumers believe will dry out their skin. So if alcohol denant is so bad why is it even in products to begin with well it actually does quite a few good things for the product and also for your skin one of the main things it does is actually makes the product feel nicer to you so it's a very kind of like um, user experience thing but it makes the product like a lot more lightweight it makes it softer and makes it glide onto the skin a lot nicer but it actually helps active ingredients in your serums your essences even your moisturizers to actually penetrate the skin in the right products you'll often see alcohol denant in hydrated and moisturizing products which kind of goes against the worry that everyone has about alcohol denim is that it's drying so let's take for example my favorite serum that people always point out the alcohol to me this is Innisfree green tea seed serum one of the main ingredients is of course alcohol but one of the main ingredients is also glycerin and this is even marketed as a hydrating and moisturizing product so it sounds really counterintuitive to put alcohol in there but the fact that you have that in there with amongst other hydrating ingredients but with glycerin I'm using as an example which is a skin conditioning agent and a humectant it's not gonna do what everyone's worried about and completely dry out your skin because it's a moisturizing product and this is what I mean but you have to look at the formulation as a whole and I think nowadays especially with all these websites where you can type in your product and it lists ingredient by ingredient tells you what to look out for I think people are very quick to pick out a single ingredient and think that that's the worst thing about the product and they should stay clear of the product altogether like alcohol denatured alcohol is probably something you might want to avoid if you do have dry skin it's probably not right for you um, or if you do have very sensitive skin it's probably not right for you either I personally feel it really is a personal choice um, I wouldn't worry about over drying your skin with this like even in the long run if you're using moisturizers and you're using other nourishing and moisturizing ingredients I feel like we all need to calm down a bit so I also mentioned that alcohol free it doesn't mean the product is hundred percent alcohol free in fact a lot of the products I'm going to talk about now and a lot of products that are labeled as alcohol free a lot of these products contain propylene propylene <laughs> and butylene glycol, which in short are both humectants. So these aren't gonna dry out your skin. So these aren't really something you need to worry about. So I present to you my alcohol-free skincare routine, starting off with our first cleanser. So this is the Neogen Real Fresh Cleansing Stick. This is the green tea version. I'm not sure there are other versions of this. So you'll be able to see that this product does actually contain green tea leaves for a very gentle exfoliation. Even though it's in the stick form as well, you can kind of see how creamy it's going to be. It smells a little bit like Play-Doh, but this actually contains over 10 natural oils, which is going to help you break down makeup, sunscreen, the day's grime. And that's why I would be using this as a first cleanser. Um because of those oils. It's very rich as well, you can feel it. It's super easy to use. You just wipe it over damp skin, lather it up a little bit, then rinse it away, and your skin feels so soft after. The green tea leaves in there are super gentle as well. You don't even feel like you're getting exfoliation. I'm not really sure this is ad adequate enough exfoliation. But it just leaves your skin feeling super nice and soft. I think this would be great if you do have dry skin, just to give your skin that little extra bit of moisture. Then we move on to our second cleanser. This is, of course, Crave Beauty Matcha Hemp Hydrating Cleanser. Product that really needs no introduction on my channel whatsoever. An 
antioxidant enriched water activated cleanser that leaves your skin again feeling super soft and hydrated not a sign of tightness at all I won't talk about this for too long because I talk about it all the time but please go and check out my crave beauty review where I talk about all the products in the line not just this but a lot of this let's move on to the toner step this is the Cosrx Galactomyces alcohol free toner I feel like when it comes to toners a lot of people avoid them and a lot of people think they're a bad step because they are usually alcohol heavy but this is very old fashioned for a toner for its main ingredient to be a alcohol like alcohol denant it's you know clean and clear time <laughs> and this is one of the very few products that I would say is pretty much genuinely for all skin types Cosrx are known for their very small and simple ingredients ingredient list. And there's really not a single ingredient in this product that I think anyone would find irritating at all. This literally feels like water on your skin. It has no smell, no real feeling, other than the plump kind of like firmness that it leaves once you pat this into your skin. This product contains 10% Galactomyces fermented filtrate an ingredient known for evening out your skin tone and also improving the texture of your skin. I mentioned in another video that this really is like, <laughs> this really is a two in one kind of product toner essence because this has like all the properties of an essence as well. But if you did want to get your hands on an essence other than the Neogen Real Ferment Micro Essence, I would actually really recommend the E Nature Birch Juice Hydro Essence Skin. This essence contains some really nice soothing and healing ingredients. You've got chamomile in here and birch tree sap as well as a few brightening ingredients that you'd often expect to see in an essence. When you first put this on this feels a little bit thicker than your usual essence but it glides on perfectly and sinks into the skin beautifully as well. It's got a really cooling kind of feeling to it. E Nature are definitely a brand you need to check out that I've recently discovered and absolutely love. Um, they're not 100% natural but they do concentrate on more natural ingredients and that more cleaner kind of beauty. Let's talk about a mask. I think a lot of wash off masks are actually alcohol free. Um, but I want to talk about this I'm from ginseng mask. I'm obsessed with the I'm from range at the moment. You know I love the rice toner. I'm now obsessed with the mask. The honey one's incredible. The vitamin tree one is so good. This ginseng mask has like... It's just like something I've never used before. The ginseng in this mask basically warms up your skin and according to their product description, flushes out any harsh irritants from your skin and smoothen and restores your skin. All I know is that my skin feels and looks great after and my pores look tiny, which I love. So this has a licorice root extract in it as well, which is known for helping to lighten darker pigmentation. It's in a lot of eye creams. I don't know if it really works. Hyaluronic acid and it also has malt extract in, which I've not seen in my skincare before I don't know so I kind of looked up what malt extract does and it says it exercises a protective action against the Sun's radiation by working from inside the cell the result is a beneficial effect on cell viability globally my, mitigating the adverse effects on ultraviolet radiations then it says often used in after Sun products so in short it basically helps with like UV damage Anyway, it's really nice to use. I just brush this onto my skin. You'll see that it's a little bit more liquidy than your normal mask. But that's because you're meant to like massage it into your skin. It says from five to 10 minutes. Let's be honest, who's gonna stand there for 10 minutes and massage a mask into your skin? You'll get bored after five. I like to concentrate on my nose and my forehead. Oh God, it's so hot in here. And then rinse away with cooler than normal water, not cold water, but a little bit cooler than what you'd normally use and just rinse that away. And your skin just looks really refreshed and nourished. Let's talk about serum. This is more of a first impression for me because I've had this product for about a week now. This is the Claire's Fundamental Ample Mist. But I'm absolutely loving it so far. This is probably the first, if not the only, sprayable, ample, serum-y thing I've ever come across and ever used. And I love it. I love that you can just spritz it on and pat it in. What I love about Claire's in general is it's cruelty-free, as is most of the products I use now. Um, Vegan-friendly. It gives you a really nice dewy complexion, and it is deeply hydrating as well. It's actually got like a base of green tea water infused with antioxidants. It's also got rice in it, which I personally love for evening out my my skin tone, brightening the skin, mugwort, and also sodium hyaluronate, which is that kind of like hyaluronic 
acid salt version. Basically, it means that it can just penetrate our skin a lot better. But I love this. My skin not only feels instantly hydrated after using this, so it's confusing, but you use this in the serum stage. So it not only feels hydrated, but it looks dewy and plump, and I absolutely love it. We will definitely be revisiting this in a few weeks. Moisturizer. This is the Cioris Stay With Me Day Cream. Cioris are another brand who are great to go with if you're into your clean beauty, natural skincare, all that kind of stuff. Is it too bright to see that? There we go. So they are a 100% natural skincare brand. And to be honest, the only 100% natural skincare brand I actually really like. This Stay With Me Day Cream is a little bit thicker than what you'd expect from a usual day cream. So you only need a tiny amount, but it does glide over your skin perfectly. Some of my favorite ingredients in here are again, licorice root extract, which also not only helps with brightening the skin, evening out dark pigmentation, but also with spots. Breakout all that kind of stuff. You got Centella as well to heal and soothe and sodium hyaluronate as well to keep you feeling hydrated. You may want to avoid this if you find um, fragrances irritating because much like every 100% natural skincare brand, they pack their product with essential oils. Flower oils is unnecessary. <laughs> I don't care if my product smells like plastic. Does anyone else? I, I don't care. You have Kanaga Odorata flower, flower oil, which is ylang ylang oil, along with two other flower oils, which they don't need to do that. They, it's like purely for the smell. They have no benefits on your skin. They just don't need to do that. Other than that, Cioris is a really good brand. They actually pick all their natural ingredients when it's in season. So yeah, it's one of the only natural brands that I really, really trust. Sunscreen. This is a new one for me. Again, this is going to be more of a first impression, but this is the Comfy Water Sunblock SPF 50 plus PA++++ from Purito. So this is a physical sunscreen. The physical sunscreen of my dreams. Now, there are a few reasons why I usually hate a physical a physical sunscreen. Number one is the white cast. I may only be a little bit brown, but I'm still brown skinned, and you can see that white cast on my skin. It also gets into my facial hair, and it just looks terrible. Number two is Physical sunscreens tend to really dry me out. That dryness leads to itchy areas of my skin, which then it leads to spots. Um, and then num number three, no, that's it. There's no number three, two reasons. But this sunscreen feels exactly like their um, other sunscreen, the Safe Level Sun chemical sunscreen. It just glides onto the skin, leaving no white cast. It takes a little bit more time to rub into the skin, but there is no white cast. This does, of course, contain zinc oxide and titanium dioxide, but also contains niacinamide and madagascide and tea tree oil, all things that my skin absolutely loves. It does, however, contain lavender oil and, of course, the tea tree oil. So again, if you have sensitive skin, you may want to avoid this. But hopefully, like the other sunscreen, they'll come out with an essential oil-free sunscreen. Um, so we could all love this and use it without any irritation. So that is it. That is my alcohol-free skincare routine. I hope I introduce you to a few new products, um, a few new brands as well. As I mentioned, make sure you watch Friday's haul, yes, style haul video, because I will be doing a giveaway with 13 winners. So yeah, make sure you watch that. But that is it for me now, guys. I will see you next time.